Davy Crockett's exploits were so well known that pretty soon the people of his community elected him to the state legislature. Dad, is that light going out? Uh, yeah, Mom. Uh, night, Mom. Davy proved to be a wise legislator and was later elected to the Congress of the United States. And so Davy Crockett, frontier hero, was off to our nation's capital, known in those times as Washington City. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know where I could find Davy Crockett? <laughs> I should say not. That backwards bumpkin is an embarrassment to politics and Washington society. <laughs> Him? Shields in a mirror lately? <laughs> Young man, I'll thank you not to talk to my wife in that tone of voice. Especially dressed like that. Hmm. Yeah, well, this is how we dress back east. This is back east. Uh, did I say back, back east? Well, you know, I, I meant back, back, back. West. I don't care what anybody says. Davy Crockett is a neat guy. He's not an embarrassment to anybody. Howdy. I guess they must have had another appointment. today is not only in the best interests of this great and fair nation of ours, but also in the best interests of the Indians. Well, you're next. I can't wait to see the looks on their faces when you give them that speech. Maybe I ought to just forget about it, Ben. I can't compete with speechifying like that. What? What's he got that you haven't got? <laughs> well, for one thing, I can only talk out of one side of my mouth at a time. They'll have the thrill and adventure of moving to a brand new land and making a lot of new friends. <laughs> what's more? What's more? We are willing to guarantee the Indians in writing that they will love their new homes. And I assure you, we will stand by that promise with the same firm resolve with which we have stood behind all our other promises to the Indians. Listen to all that hand clapping out there. 